Vite, which is billed as next generation front end tooling and how we can use this with Craft CMS and what it is in general. So Vite is something that would replace Webpack or Laravel Mix or Gulp or Grunt. You know, it's a front end uh, build tool system for processing your JavaScript, CSS, and other things that we need to be doing. Now you might say, why another one? Why do we need Vite? Well, the neat thing about Vite is that it's really fast and it doesn't require a whole lot of tooling. So we're gonna take a look at what it looks like. And the other interesting thing I think is that it is kind of going back to the way we would write JavaScript in the 1990s in some ways, in that in your HTML, you just put a script tag. And in this case, I'm using a little helper function from a plugin that I made for Craft CMS that is kind of the connecting tissue between Vite and Craft CMS. And all you do is you pass it in the path to whatever JavaScript that you are using. It can be TypeScript, it can be JSX, it can be a view component, it doesn't really matter. It will just take care of loading it. And this is our entire template. So all we're doing is injecting this one app.ts and we can have a look at that real quick. So TS is TypeScript, just for anyone who doesn't know. And it's, uh, TypeScript is just JavaScript with types. And, and here's our component. So it's really simple. Uh, sorry. And so here's our JavaScript, and it's very simple. We're just importing our app and create app from view. This is view three. And we're importing, importing this one library from Vite for dynamic import polyfills to make sure that that works with all of our browsers. And that's really it. You know, we're just creating our app instance and then we're mounting it and away we go. So let's go back to our twig real quick and let's take a look. So we're gonna reload the page here and you know, we see we got our nice little confetti and stuff. And let's take a look at what is actually going on here under the hood. So in our head, we have this, this line right here, this craft.vite.script ended up getting translated into this, script type, type equals module, and it's pointing to a dev server that is running at localhost port 3000, and it's pointing just directly to the TypeScript file because Vite is running a dev server on that port, and using ES build, it will automatically transpile from TypeScript or from uh, view single file components or JSX or any of these things. So you can just link directly to them and it will just work. The other thing of note here is that there is an injected style. I'm using Tailwind CSS and the JIT in this project. And while you're in development mode, it will inject a style tag with all of your styles in here. So here's our Tailwind styles. So let's take a look at what might be nice in terms of the, the speed that we're getting out of this. So let's go to our component here real quick. And let's do something like, let's add a div class equals background transparent, sure, paragraph, hello world, right? And this is a view single file component. As soon as I hit save, bam, the hot module replacement kicked in and it updated it. So that's pretty neat. The other thing of note here is that it's automatically getting all of our nice tailwind styles here. So if we wanted to change this to blue, we can change this to blue. And if we wanted to fix our typo, we could do that too, All right? So that's pretty neat. Get that out of here. And we can also go check out our confetti component. And let's say that we want, I don't know, let's say we want circles instead of hearts. Well, we can just change it and away we go. Uh, or maybe, I don't know, maybe we want really big ones, All right? And the fun thing is you can see here in the browser, you can see anytime anything is hot updated, you can see it here. And man, it is instantaneous in terms of the update speed. It is really pretty incredible. Go back to 20, let's go to heart. Yeah, all right. So now let's take a look at what we have if we end up going, so this is using the dev server. Let's say we're gonna turn the dev server off and this is in the Vite plugin that I wrote, it's in the config. And I'm just gonna turn the dev server off. Vite will do a production build for you. It uses rollup under the hood. 
and it takes care of generating a manifest file for you. And that is one thing that the plugin does as well as it reads the manifest file for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it to tell it to not use the dev server and we're going to reload the page and everything still looks pretty much the same from the front end, right? We've got our ugly yellow background. We've got our hearts. We've got all this kind of good stuff. And if we look at the HTML though, a little bit has changed. So now this is the bundled module, the bundled app entry point module. And we're including this as a script type equals module cross origin to make sure that we get that correct. And then we're also preloading a vendor bundle. This was created by Rollup. It's got all of the vendor stuff that is needed to run. So it probably has view in it and a bunch of other uh, vendor bundles that we're using. And then you can also see we've got our CSS here. So this is nice. It's, it already ripped out our CSS and it bundled it all up for us. And I have it using the um, filament groups way of doing async CSS. Um, that's again, something that my plugin provides for you. It's, it's up to you whether you want to use it or not. But basically it sets the onload handler to set the media to all. And this initially defaults to print, so it doesn't apply. So what happens is once it, the script is loaded, it will then apply it to the screen. So you'll get it to do it async. And then the other thing to look at down here is we have this link rel equals module preload. And this is a way of telling modern browsers that this thing that you're loading is going to be a module. And the interesting thing to note here is that this is actually coming from our source script. So it's a dynamic import that the browser is actually handling for us. So that's it. I mean, that's, uh, that's Vite in a nutshell. And I think it's pretty cool. Again, the reasons you might want to use it is it's really fast and the setup it's pretty easy. You do need this little connector if you're using Craft CMS or really any server rendered technology like Laravel or Rails or whatever. You're gonna need a little adapter to make it work, but it's not a big deal. And the other thing that I wanna show is the config because one of the things that people freak out about when it comes to Webpack, for instance, is the Webpack config. I mean, as someone <laughs> has written some big ones, I know uh, this is the entirety of the Vite config. This is all there is to it. Um, this is what is doing everything under the hood, and th that's it. You know, there's nothing else there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy, everybody.